Hello and welcome to part two of the Calcified Fragment Guide. In this guide, we'll cover the second half of the fragments, which are either in story missions, strikes, the raid, or are a special event in the Dreadnought. Let's start with the story mission Regicide. Load that one up and fly in. When you get to this large room, look over the left edge down the support beam. Go down the beam, grab Fragment 24, and head back up. Fragment 25 is also to the left, but you need to reveal the platforms with your ghost. Jump down to the left, reveal the platforms, and Ghost 25 will be underneath the bridge. Head back up and continue the mission. Once you get to the large room with the giant chasm, cross the chasm and go to the left. Fragment 18 will be sitting on the left side of the room. Continue the mission until you go through the portal. Once through, immediately turn around and behind the back right tablet is fragment number 27. Next up, you're going to load the Sunless Cell Strike. Once the door opens in the portal room like in Regicide, walk through the door. Before you cross the bridge, there will be a platform to your left that you can jump up to. Jump up there and in the corner will be fragment number 26. Next, load up the Shield Brothers Strike. Progress through the Cabal base until you reach the room with all the debris after the long hallway. Go to the right and search among the debris for fragment number 28. It'll be underneath some of it along the edge of the area. Fragments number 29, 30, 31, 32, and 33 are all in the raid. I have another video which covers those fragments and the raid chests. You can click here to go to it or you can check the link in the description. Fragment number 34 is back in the Dreadnought in the mausoleum, so head there. Go back to where fragment 3 was, that's the middle door on the right side if you're facing the Cabal. Hang out in this room for a little while to eventually gain Scent of the Worm. Once you get it, you'll have a minute to get to the chest which holds the fragment. The chest is in the back left of the area across the big chasm, where you will need to use your ghost to hop across the platforms. You need to go quickly, and the platforms only start to appear if you're on the right side, like where you went to go get fragment number one. Do a practice run first to make sure that you know where to go. The chest is all the way on the back side of the left platform. Open it up, and that is your fragment. Fragment 35 is back where fragment number 10 was. That's where you went off of the back of Court of Oryx towards the right, then jumped up to the platform and went through the tunnel. Once you hit the tunnel, instead of going left, go straight. The room with the chest is very lethal. You won't be able to open the chest normally because you'll just die to damage. I know that there's some sort of relic that you need in order to survive the damage, but I've honestly never experienced the event where you get the relic. What I do know is that if you use the guard function on your sword, you can survive the damage long enough to open the chest. You can also use your super if it's duration based and survive long enough to get the chest. I don't know why they didn't just require the relic to open the chest, but whatever. Fragment number 36 comes from the charged Argonach rune. This is the rune that needs 7 charges in order to activate, where you can gain 1 per day by killing the taken target of the day in the Dreadnought Patrol. Once your rune is charged, head down to the founts where we found fragment number 23. Drop down into the lower level, turn right, and head all the way back to the hole in the wall. Put your rune in the device, then follow the directions that the event will give you. The event itself is just killing hive and taken enemies, then killing a taken boss. Once the boss dies, a chest appears in the middle of the area which contains fragment number 36 plus some other goodies. Fragment number 37 is from the Skyburners event. To start the Skyburners event, you need a Skyburner command beacon. The beacon is a random drop from Cabal on the Dreadnought. Basically, just kill Cabal until you get a beacon. Once you get a beacon, head to the big Cabal ship in the beginning of the patrol area. Turn left and you should see a console that you can put the beacon into. 
follow the instructions of the event to gain the Skyburner deployment codes. To use these codes, head to the mausoleum. When facing the Cabal ship, look to your left for a window that you can jump into. Find the console in the room and put in the codes. This will activate another event that you need to complete, and the event is not the same every time, but it involves a timed activity. If you complete the event, you'll be rewarded with a security pass. To use the security pass, go back to the room where you used the deployment codes. There will be a door in the same room where you can use the security pass, open the chest, and get fragment number 37. Fragment 38 comes from the Wormsinger rune event. A Wormsinger rune can drop randomly from Hive on the Dreadnought. There are quite a few places where you can trigger this event, one example is in the starting patrol area. Hug the right side wall and once you get into the corner, drop down into the lower path and go into the doorway. Drop your rune into the console on the right and play the event. A successful event will turn your Wormsinger rune into a Worm Feeder room where you must kill X amount of enemies on the Dreadnought without dying. Once you pass that threshold, your rune will turn into a key of X, where X is a random name. Use that key in the corresponding chest to get fragment number 38. For a list of chests and their locations, check the description. Fragments 39, 40, 41, and 42 come from Tier 2 Court of Oryx. You must place a charged stolen rune in the statue and complete the public event. These fragments drop randomly from the events, so just keep doing Tier 2 Court of Oryx until you get all of them. Fragment number 46 is earned after completing a Nightfall Strike, so go do a Nightfall. Fragment number 49 is earned from doing a Tier 3 Court of Oryx event. You must place a fully charged antiquated rune into the statue and complete the public event. It should only take one of these and you should get your fragment. Finally, fragment number 50 is earned from the Court of Oryx random bounty chain. It's not a quest from Eris or anything, it's a randomly found bounty that starts when you do Court of Oryx events. There are multiple bounties, so the only thing I can tell you is to just go complete the entire bounty chain. Upon completion, you will be rewarded with fragment number 50. This leaves fragments 43, 44, 45, 47, and 48. At the moment, no one knows how these fragments are earned, so do not worry about them for now. As soon as we do know how they are earned, I'll have a video on where to find them. But that is your fragment location guide. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.